story about a mailbox, uh, which occurred at my home. It's, it's, it's seminal to the, to the Russia story. Sarah and I had just begun working on what we call the NSA abuse stories. At, yeah, the unmasking. Uh, and unmasking, and we had just gone on television and Sean's show, Sean Haney's show that night, we talked about this sudden rise in unmaskings. And I came, I drove home, I got to my mailbox, pulled in my car, there was a blue sedan sitting outside the mailbox. And there were two gentlemen, clearly intelligence officers, somewhere from the government, they never identified their names. And they stepped out and said, are you Mr. Solomon? I said, yes. They said, we just saw you on Sean Hannity's show. We wanted to talk to you for a second. We can't tell you much because most of what we know is classified. But we will tell you this. If you keep digging, you will find out that the United States intelligence community was used for a political opposition research project. And we are deeply concerned. And I said, well, why are you concerned? We need these tools, things like FISA and the NSA, to catch your bad guys. And if we misuse it for political dirty tricks, we won't have those tools when the next terrorist attack or the next spy right. shows up in town. We need you to go find out what happened. And that's all they told me. It was about 11.30 by the time we finished the conversation. I ran in, I wrote this long email of everything I can remember. I said to Sarah, hits the box about two o'clock in the morning, she's still up. <laughs> she responds right back. But that's how we got started into really understanding this is much bigger than just an unmasking scandal. It was, it was huge.